So in this video, I'm going to talk about quickly testing your trading strategies. And I test, I'm testing a, a strategy right now on ConocoPhillips uh, equity 15 minute time frame and it's the most recent year. So today is the 17th of August 2016 and uh, I've just uh, tested uh, a strategy, you know, and it just showed me this kind of equity with uh, making 80% net profit in one year and it says commissions included and uh, 160 trades it had it had 160 trades in what in that year and it looks uh, it looks like a good um, it looks like a, a nice um, a nice system right so uh, maybe uh, I'm like very sure that I'm, uh, I'm I want to make sure that I want to trade it and uh, that's how I'm, I'm going to show how I usually double check my systems that uh, before trading them, right? Even if I get results which show good, uh, good, good history, <clears throat> I still make a walk forward test. And right now, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So let's just imagine that it was not the 17th of August today of 2016. But it was the 17th of August 2015 today and we were going to trade this system. So uh, in order to uh, trade it, right, so uh, we want to trade it. So we want to find some optimal parameters, right? And let's say today it was the 17th of August, sorry, yeah, August 2015. And we're gonna take uh, six months to optimize it, right? So it did 160 trades in one year, plus minus. So let's take six months for optimization. So it would be something around 50 to 100 trades, which is uh, probably enough for our statistics, right? So let's uh, put in those parameters. Okay, so I've set six months right here. I press OK and <clears throat> it's gonna go back and well see uh this doesn't really matter and we're gonna optimize the system uh to find the best parameters for uh that period so i'm just gonna stop the video and come back okay so i optimized it for the six months uh starting from uh, 17th of august 2015 i got some results i mean they're probably not <clears throat> the best uh equity that you can find but still there are positive results and well, we're not actually checking how good it was during that period yeah we're just projecting the system back in order to see how well it could perform in our future so basically i the system found the optimizer found the best parameters for that period so right now i'm going to take these parameters and imagine if i was to carry on trading right so, uh, so this is the drawdown I had during that period. And basically, if I put it into trade, yeah, so right now I'm at this point of drawdown. And what I want to do is actually 17th 08, 2015 is the date on which I start live trading, right? So I'm just going to extend this date a few months ahead and see how long the system is going to hold this level of drawdown this level of max drawdown and this level of uh, maximum number of bars since last equity high so if the system after this date remember 15th 08 2015 if the system is going to show <clears throat> more drawdown uh, then I'm going to and more bars. Well, let's just stick to drawdown. I usually just stick to drawdown and this part is just for Well, it, it goes out really really big time then yes, but this is the crucial right so <clears throat> It's not that crucial if they're not new highs made But it is crucial if I mean if we're having drawdowns, which we never had before in history so basically let's just extend this number and see what happens and if the system crashes and shows us results that we did not have in history so if the drawdown is going to go down there uh, then we're just going to stop it we're going to take back from that date six months and we're going to 
optimize it one more time okay so let's add uh, let's say two months right okay so basically what happened is just the system found the best parameters to trade on this period and straight after I put it into trade it just went down right you can see the equity it just went down didn't go down drastically but still uh, maybe it was a bad idea to have 50 trades only uh, on a test right so let's uh, have a let's have a, a bigger a bigger test right because you know uh, like um, it was a the drawdown was actually like if you if we're talking percentage wise right it's not I mean it's only three percent I wouldn't expect the drawdown to be three percent for the whole period I would say something like ten percent <clears throat> is okay right because if we actually uh, see these parameters for let's say 1708 2015 let's say 1708 2014 uh, so we take a bigger period with more trades and uh, let's see the drawdown is probably more likely to be somewhere around 10 at max so let's just take and optimize a bigger period and try it with a bigger period okay so it optimized the one year period now and well the equity looks a little bit better with a big jump right here and uh, the drawdowns more, look more realistic right so we can see that on average we're getting here something like around four percent and we're we can go down to eight okay so now we're just gonna note down these parameters and some of these parameters as well and then we're going to extend the trading period okay so we can see that it made 47 percent net profit in one year and now let's see what it gives us um let me just i prefer the dollar view <clears throat> okay so i'm trading 175 percent equity and i'm starting with five thousand dollars okay so let's extend the period so from this date this is a real trade as if okay so let's just put 2016 here and that's today's date let's see if the system held so okay so at this point there would have been something unexpected right so let's see at which point was that so this is all uh, so 1708 2015 and somewhere here let's see this is 1208 so actually <clears throat> it was 0409 2015 something like that let's put it here 0409 2015 so let's see that well let's go back to percent now so we can see okay so we can still go let's put 10 okay <clears throat> and I would actually I would have probably take down the system even earlier so 2509 okay so it did not happen yet here so it happened let's say it was something like this right okay so at this point uh, we can see that something is going on which hasn't been going on before and it's time to take the system down right <clears throat> and let's see how much money we made uh, in that period so we started 1708 2015 and we traded until the August the 1st something like two months and well well we made five percent okay so let's just make a a graph like this and so let's note that we st stopped the system on 1st of October 
so this is 170815 that's when we started and how much we made is uh, let's just note that we made 241 dollar during that period okay so now we go back one year and re-optimize the system and actually I had a look at the trades we had during this period and I would say that we would have stopped the system even earlier because as you can see that during the first test period that we had here we had max const uh, loss trade 6 right and I would actually stop the system if the number we had on uh, on the on, on on the live trade exceeded that right so right here we can see that we're actually having eight trades constantly and that's a that's a bad sign right so maybe I would actually mm, uh, stop it right here already one two three four five six seven eight okay so it, I, I gave it a chance you know to after seven and it made the eighth losing trade so that's that's it that's it so let's say 1109 so there are two ways we stop the system first we look for the drawdown right so we found the drawdown and then we looked at the look at the trades and if there were uh, and, and if there was a period with more more constant lo constantly losing trades during that period then uh, during the history test period then we also take that into account so it's one two three four five six seven okay the eighth trade happens and it happens on so 1209 is 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 when we take it down actually 1209 right and that's actually it's going to do even better for us so it's 553 dollars we we made right okay so now we put it on optimization again okay so i put back so we stopped it on the 1209 so i put 1209 2014 and i'm gonna optimize it one more time and i'll come back after i optimize it so I found me some new parameters and well this can happen what happened now and what actually happened is that well this is the old parameters right and this is when we took the system down because it showed drawdown which is the biggest in history and the new parameters that were found <coughs> are just doing the same right so it found new parameters and <coughs> if you select the new parameters it's this one on the right sorry this one on the left right it's the same like at at this period it's showing the highest drawdown in history right so it's showing that well you can try and continue trading this system but uh, at this point you're uh, at the highest drawdown possible in history of one year right or even more so it's a big question right now I would actually rotate this system and put in another system right but if you have no choice then and you only have one system <coughs> then well I would probably try and, and find some other parameters uh, that do not show this drawdown at this particular point right so you don't want to put the system into trading which is at the point of max drawdown in history right I mean this could be a point after which you know the system can go back and <clears throat> make money but it is a bad sign you know if it is the max drawdown that it was in the whole history of whole trading the system right so what I'm gonna do now is actually well I, I would actually do and I would probably trade another system but since I don't have one well in this particular example I'm gonna try and select another period so let's go back and select six months 
starting from this point and see what what it gives us okay so now i optimized it for six months from 1204 to 2015 till 1209 2015 and it's showing pretty cool equity and well you can see that in comparing to what we had in our previous example so you can see that you know well like if i just uh copy this right here so we can compare so that's what we had on the left is what we had after we stopped trading yeah yeah and uh, then we optimized it and we had this so it's like you know the same thing and after so we decided to take the six months right and well this looks a little bit more promising yeah it looks as if you know it's sort of coming back from the drawdown so okay then let's try with this logic carry on with this logic so i'm gonna extend i'm gonna extend and see where it fails us so our goal is to see what it makes in 2015 and um, 2016 maybe yeah okay so yeah 2015 from 2015 till 2016 till till today right see if it makes more than uh, we optimized the year before okay so let's move to I don't know 12 okay so it failed pretty pretty soon right so where were we we were right here somewhere at six hundred dollars uh, was 12.09 right so we were 12.09 let's just go back to 09 and go by one month step so we were at $600 so we wait for a month and well well it did kind of peak the $50 here but then it made a big jump so probably didn't have time you know to um, shut down the system okay then go to 11 Doof. okay that was a bad idea then eh? so we would probably quit somewhere here right and that's somewhere in the end of somewhere in the end of October okay so she's making another drawdown okay and we may wait a little bit more okay now I would definitely you know even earlier than that I would like right here I would turn it down okay so let's note this that our next stop system stop that was our first stop this is our next stop and Okay, so it's 03 11 2015 yeah let's see okay so and oh actually maybe maybe we maybe so let's see how many trades we had constant oh well 13 right so probably we would have actually stopped this ah so maybe that I don't know when that was so we, we started actually at um, 1209 right so let's go to 1209 right here okay <clears throat> and it's 213 okay oh okay and so that's where we were right and I have to go back and see how many trades so we would have probably stopped it somewhere here so 13 is too much yeah we never had that on history we had let's see how much we had let's just go back so it was 12 04 the the the, the, the six month optimization period 12 04 2015 yeah 1209 
2015. I'll just do it quickly and come back. Yeah, so during that period, max const loss was 7, right? So let's go back and 0311. And that's when the drawdown stop could have occurred, but we would have actually stopped the system earlier because we got 1209 because we got <clears throat> you know trades right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that's too much i wouldn't have ever waited for that long one two six seven so okay so that was our max on history seven and then okay we'll give it one more and as long so this one closes down on exit date 28 okay so 29 10 29 10 is when we would have took the system we would have taken down the system okay so 360 dollars that's actually seven percent okay so let's put it down here and so 360 dollars we would actually um, let's see how many, uh, how much we're making. Okay, minus that equals this to that, but that. Okay, so we've already made 18%, um, right? Okay, so this is our capital here. This this does take time, by the way, and so if you wanna, you know check out how the system is doing but it's better than losing money so <clears throat> okay now let's see what we're gonna do so 2910 so we're having something like this and now we actually we can go back and try optimizing one year period and maybe we can do that because now we have a, a larger span of this drawdown here that maybe the system will optimize or we can you know optimize another six month period i mean it did make money so why don't we try and optimize the six month period again so we can you know kind of switch there and back okay so let's optimize i'll optimize and come back so i optimized the six months and that's what i got uh and it does really look like it, i don't i don't know well it, to me it looks as if it it's gonna go you know if it was uh, so it's at its maximum right now right so it's something that we talked about and it, there is n no chance i mean you don't have it's either gonna go there and you're gonna just turn down the system's trade after you know your first your first trade or i mean if it was somewhere here for example yeah then you had some time for this to run but i don't know so basically this is one option the six month optimization and it does look pretty nice and uh, with 140 trades actually and um the other option let's try the yearly optimization so i'll put it into optimization and i'll come back to you okay so i optimized it on one year and it actually shows a more interesting result right so if you remember the previous one and this looks like a more promising uh, situation so I'm gonna try I'll just stop the video and note down the parameters and I will try and trade these ones now okay so let's just increase our period let's say 12 hopefully and see okay so we're still on track right haven't made any new drawdowns so let's go to 2016 add two more months in fact let's just add the current date let's see how it does so 1708 2016 okay so at some point february we had a bigger drawdown, right? Okay, and 
So that's 1201. And let's see, 12, okay, let's just 21 then. That's still fine. Okay, 30. Oh, that's probably a bit too late then. Let's say 28. 25. Okay, I guess that's where the drawdown happened. And we started 29.10. 2015 okay and let's see if we had any so we had max const loss 11 and during the historical backtest max const loss was 8 so and let's see when that happened and that happened at the end right here actually so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's where it happened we gave it one more and it shot and that was exit date so the 22nd is when I would have stopped this system. Okay, so 22nd, I'm just noting down the date, so I... So right now we had two, two stops, right? Okay, this is the equity and we made, <laughs> uh, we made 2%, right? <laughs> okay, well, at least it did not you know fail so which is all I'd say it's already good so $141 so the system so far has made 20% right we're we're trading 175% of equity so that's like a 1 to 2 margin okay so 9 trades right fail okay so now let's see the drawdown and if we take and try and optimize it one more time 2201 2015 like this so let's try and optimize it yearly see if we get a different picture right here let's go okay I'll be back well it doesn't look too promising but we can try I mean it, it's better than the last one so maybe you do a six month and compare but you know it's this is already taking a lot of t time so I guess it's better to do both you know like a six month optimization a one year optimization and see what which kind of you know drawdown situation looks better but this looks okay you know this looks okay so uh, let me just pause again copy the parameters and um, and then uh, in fact let me just do it so this is what 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 so like I'll go here and write down the new optimization dates so this is like the whole procedure it takes takes a lot of um, effort actually might take a whole day so I write down the parameters so in fact so if I have to go back anytime I will okay performance and let me just do it down so I have six max losses all right it's right here so we're exiting either by drawdown or six max losses well the drawdown is 512 okay and let's see so let's go until the end I see I, I I don't believe this is gonna work yeah it didn't so it didn't trade for a long time but it did trade it did trade until like March yeah so let's see O one, O three. So it's still doing fine, and it's actually. Is it making money or not? 
let's see them uh, make 10 okay so now you see well maybe wait just two more days you know like it all happens all the time okay so it's making something 15 okay we can see that it's not it's gone out but it's it's not a big delta so maybe I would have waited a little bit more okay now I would have exited for sure right so it kind of made this peak and spoiled everything okay so 19th right and we started on the 22nd 2016 okay <laughs> did make three percent so now another stop date and the stop date is nine actually let's check oh max cons losses is eight yeah so we would have stopped the system before on six right so one two three four five six actually would have stopped it on 2602 okay so you can see the max cons losses situation and that's actually much better so seven and 332 dollars so it's, the system has already made 27 percent right and you if you have uh, I, I just use this margin but you can use a bigger margin you're gonna have bigger drawdowns but let's see what's uh, better for you okay so let's see now the yearly the yearly graph and let's see what we're gonna optimize now okay also well, okay this is a 2602 and remember we stopped here yeah it wasn't the max drawdown it was the max number of trades so we're gonna optimize the yearly value and I'm gonna pause and come back we have only a couple of months left so so I actually optimized this one year and it's exactly the same right so it actually oh oh maybe did I yeah it found the parameters which are exactly the same as it, they were right so bad idea now i'm gonna select a smaller period like this piece of data and that's where i'm gonna do do a new optimization and come back okay so this is what um, the six month optimization looks like and uh, and well let's try it okay so let me just uh, note down the parameters again okay so oops scroll this a little bit okay so now we we stopped the system on the 22nd of February on 26 sorry 26 and we had a new optimization period 2602.16 and which started on 2609.16. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually 2609.15. Yeah. I thought it was a mistake, so I even paused the video. Uh, that's right, six months. Well, six or five. Okay let's see so all we need to note down is number of so eight is the max cons trades which are not good well max ZD is probably something around six hundred dollars oh it's even less so this system is not gonna last too long with a three hundred eighty three dollars max drawdown but let's give it a try okay so let's extend the period by one month and what are we gonna see Okay, did I select the best? 
we added 3.8 okay so it didn't last very long did it <laughs> <laughs> so we turned it down 2602 and I think it lasted like well it that this like what four days five days but that can happen well that can happen well we we didn't know that would I mean uh, I would not probably uh, actually if traded these parameters because the drawdown is like what four hundred dollars right we we didn't we saw the average drawdown of six hundred dollars on this system so um, I mean we could wait the same and and see so but you can you can see, you see what happened it did actually go back up eventually but you don't want to wait for that so you would have probably uh, turned the system down so we started 2602 so the main thing is not to you know go away from the algorithm and you can see straight after we started trading it I ah, know yeah 2602 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so basically 1603 bye bye max trades and yeah off bad bad parameters bad bad parameters okay let's see how much money we lost here I'm just noting down the parameters and we lost 300 bucks okay so we just lost what what we gained previously so 20 percent okay uh, let's uh, let's not experiment let's go now with a bigger period okay and see then some new maybe it gives us some new parameters but I tell you the truth the system is breaking down quite a lot of times so I wouldn't actually stick to the same system here I would find a few other systems and change them every time the one that's been working breaks just put the other one on yeah so there's some kind of you know some kind of bigger chance going around because the other system it's more chance the other system is going to start working okay so let's let's just i just want to make it until today's date and see how many stops we got in one year and compare the results so the recent year if we just take the recent year from today and take back one year it shows that the max possible <coughs> results that we could have had if we knew the future with this system is 80 percent but if we actually trade it this way you know work with work forward optimization and we simulate this kind of mm, situation with trading uh, we can see well, well if nothing bad happens we already have 20 percent so 20 percent in dollars it's not bad I guess for a bad year but still it's not as good as a hundred percent so let's just make it till August and see what what we get okay so this is the one year yeah uh, well, doesn't look too promising but let's just try this for the sake of the experiment right I mean you would probably spend more time thinking about what parameters you're gonna put on before you put it into real trade then uh, than like during this kind of back testing but still I mean okay so now we have um, 
another test 1603 let me just note down 1603 uh-huh okay just one second okay so <clears throat> let's start expanding the time say one month I'll let it just last for a little okay so one month okay uh, oh six two months ah uh, still holding okay so let's go to 08 and it's the 1708 today let's see if it made it until today ah oh, gosh did not so it broke in June God. okay so it broke in June broke in June 1706 so let's say it put something like 25 okay that's where it broke and I'm not gonna this time I'm gonna wait uh, more than that and we started 1603 2016 and uh, I forgot to note how many trades I'll only max cons five so that should be all right and well, it didn't make too much money only $129 which is 3% and it's like not nice okay so we have one month left and i just want to finish it maybe makes 50 percent in one month <laughs> so let me just run another back test starting 2506 2015 that was a pretty big period so okay and i'm gonna optimize and i'll come back okay so let's try and finish this now so these parameters just look beautiful and we just have one month to trade which is now 1708 2016 and hopefully this is not gonna give us a bigger drawdown than it was I, I, I kind of didn't notice did it give us a bigger drawdown Oh no, there was an $800 right here. So we go in 2017-08. Okay. And we started like that. $82. Bravo. Okay, so now we have finished with eighty-two dollars on the current date which is the 1708 16 okay and now we can see the real possibilities so we took the same period and we optimized it and we could have made 80 percent well you can actually see it right here right um 1708 so the, the last optimization we had which was just one month before the end of the period so probably will show something similar okay so 88 percent with 170 trades doing pretty well right and with like 600 with well let's just do this 10 percent drawdowns okay and what we actually made was 25 percent right 25 percent so that's um that's a real situation and if we go back uh and if we go back remember the first period we took which was the and uh, right here and during that period um what was the the percentage it was 47 percent right so so we were hoping to make at least 47 percent we could have maximally made 80 percent and we actually made 25 percent which is still good i think i mean it's it's better than losing money so maybe i, I mean the system you can see that 
it did stop right it did stop but it did not uh if you like copy this equity right jumps uh you 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 can see that it's not gonna well let me just do that for a second you can see that actually this is making this system has been making money so we started off with making 11 percent then we went up to making 20 percent so 22 percent and we ended up somewhere here right and th this is the equity and this is the percentage right so i mean i'm not talking about the system uh performance uh the system performance here i'm talking about ways to test system performance right so basically after performing at, i i did the same test on apple which showed very similar results and the results were like zero percent in one year so i mean it's probably a good idea to test this as the system against the symbol to see how well the system holds the symbol i guess so that's a that was a i guess that's it and there are systems that will show good results there are systems that will show bad results and in wealth lab you can actually do this with the wfo function right here and i have a special calculator designed and a special course where i talk about all these settings and this can save a lot of time i mean to tell you the truth to do this test like manually today i spent the whole day well out uh, doing other stuff as well but you know you have to go you have to select a period you go into optimization and you can do this whole thing with uh with just this one button press it's gonna still take long but you're not gonna have to be you know walking in and out and and it's really powerful thing but there's only one it, you can't really make the analysis as good as we did like is it at the like the, the latest drawdown but you can chop it up into periods and optimize one period and then run it on the next period and what what it will it does it a little bit differently so what we did today was actually you know we select the parameters after which we just simply stop the system but what this thing does the walk forward optimization it doesn't really stop the system it just selects a period and then selects not and optimizes it optimizes the system on the period and then selects the next period and runs the period on out of sample data and it does it just you know you give it a big period of time and it does it like 10 20 times and then you just compare the results and basically that's probably that's probably enough to see if the system is stable because it's going to show whether the system made money and how much it made in uh, comparison to how much it was uh, expecting uh, how much we expected uh, to be made right so that's one way but in there you're just gonna see the score and if you want to test it the real way I mean there hasn't been um, yet uh, anything written uh like that but uh if you want to test it the real way that's the real way manually today but there's also walk forward optimization way so so what we did today wasn't wasn't really walk forward optimization it was more like real trading you know simulating a real algo trading you know how it would be in the how how would i actually trade how i trade it right now uh, in the real life situation so you have we had one system making 20 percent but we can have on an account you know 5 10 20 50 systems making 20 percent okay so i hope this was informative